Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Today we're going to diagnose bad spark plug wires. I'm going to show you how to tell if a spark plug wire is bad. Some symptoms might be a misfire in your engine. You could be getting bad fuel economy. Your idling is weird. It could be idling high or low. There's radio noise interference, like you hear a high-pitched squeal. Those are all indicators of bad spark plug wires. I'm going to show you three different methods. The first method is just going to be a water mist test, and you're going to have to do that at night. The second method is a visual inspection, and the third method is using a multimeter. So we'll cut the lights right now. What you need is a water bottle, a spray bottle set to mist. You have your engine running. So here are your spark plug wires. This is where the electronic distributor is. And your spark plug wires go into the spark plugs in the cylinder heads. What I'm going to do, I'm going to shut the light on the camera and just take the spray bottle, just plain water, and mist it. And what I'm going to look for are sparks. Sparks mean that the spark plug wire is shorting and arcing. So you get the idea. Now I'm going to shut the light off. Right now I'm spraying on top of the distributor cap area. Hopefully that comes up on the camera. Now I'm moving over to the passenger side wires underneath where the uh, wires meet the spark plugs. I don't see anything there. And now I'm moving to the driver's side. I don't know if you can see it sparking in the back there but they're sparking. It's just like little flickers of light. And now I'm gonna try underneath. I don't see anything underneath. So you just saw the water mist test and you saw it did spark, so there is arcing. So I'm gonna show you the next way to tell if a spark plug wire is bad. The second method is to visually inspect the spark plug wires. Now this could be difficult to do when it's in your car, so you might have to take them out. And I have them out just to show you, and make it really easy for you to see. So I have these spark plug wires side by side. What we're going to look for are three different things. We're going to look for corrosion on the metal pieces. We're going to look for any burn marks. And we're going to look for any cuts, any cracks, anything where there's no insulation between the wire and the outside. That'll cause problems. So we have a brand new wire here. You can see right next to the used wire and the idea here is I want to show you the difference the metal on both the brand new one and the old one look the same there's no corrosion that's a good first step now we're gonna look down the spark plug wire and make sure there's no cracks or burns and as we go past you want to check all sides it might help to use some WD-40 to clean the spark plug wire you just spray it on there and use a paper towel to clean it off you can see here here's some spots where the insulation's worn down because it was rubbing so that's no good and the final thing is look for any cracks. A lot of times it'll crack near the boot that goes right next to the block because it's really hot there. And this actually looks pretty good. You can see there's a burn mark right there. That's no good. I have an example of a bad spark plug wire that has a bunch of different things. You can see this is where the clip was. It kind of dug in and caused some problems there. There's a nice cut right there. And when you bend it, it really opens up. And right behind the crack, you can see here, there's a really good burn mark. And uh, this thing is shot. We're going to replace the spark plug wires. I'll have a video at the end of this video to show you how I did it. But again, just for a summary, you're looking for little cuts, little cracks, anything like that. You're looking for burn marks, and you're looking for any corrosion that's inside here or inside here. So the next method we're going to use to test the spark plug wires is using a multimeter. We're going to put it on ohms, and we're going to check each wire. So I'm going to use old and new spark plug wires to show you the difference. I have a tape measure, and I'll explain why that's important, and I have an ohm meter. This is actually a multimeter, it has a bunch of different functions. What you want to do is look for the horseshoe, that's an omega symbol, and you want to set it to 20,000. When you make contact, it tells you the resistance of the wire. So this is the first test you want to do, you want to make sure it's working properly. See how it changes, and then when you let go, break the contact, it goes back to 1. So we're using a tape measure because the resistance of a wire is measured by foot. So on a normal spark plug wire, you get about five to 8,000 ohms of resistance per foot. Now the newer spark plug wires today, that resistance could go all the way down into the hundreds. Here is the spark plug wire that I just showed you that has the burn marks and the cuts in it. This spark plug wire is about 17 inches long. I'm gonna just take one side here and make contact with the metal and then take my other side and in here there's a piece of metal as well and make contact. And you can see that changes to 5,400 ohms. So that's actually not too bad. The problem is, right now the spark plug's bent, and you can see there's contact. Once I like unbend it a little bit, you can see I'm moving the spark plug wire around, it loses contact inside. So that means there's a fault in here. So sure, maybe this works some of the times, but once it gets moved around a little bit, you lose a connection in here, and that's no good. So this spark plug wire is shot. 
Now I have this long spark plug wire. It's 32 inches long, and here's the matching one, which is the same length, and this is the brand new one. So I'm gonna do the brand new one first. So you can see here, the brand new one is 1,500 ohms. Now that's pretty good for a over two foot wire. So now I'm gonna check the stock wire that's old and see what that is. And we can see the old one is 10,333 ohms. So still within spec, but not as good as the new spark plug wires. So that's how you check the continuity and ohms of a spark plug wire. So those are the three different methods I have for you in checking your spark plug wires. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot on YouTube. Also, consider subscribing. I publish how-to videos weekly, and you get some good info on how to check stuff, how to diagnose stuff, how to fix stuff. It'll save you a lot of money, and they'll keep your car in tip-top shape. Also, check out my Facebook and Twitter links in the description below. On the screen will be different videos on spark plugs, spark plug wires, how to change them, all that stuff. And you can just click on the videos on the screen, or you could check out the link in the description below just in case you can't click on the screen.